As a LinkedIn recruiter user, InMail is your most powerful communication tool with potential candidates. But how do you know if your InMail strategy is working? The InMail Analytics Report is intuitive with near real-time data and actionable insights for improving your InMail response rate and facilitating data-driven conversations with stakeholders. Let's take a look at how you can use this report to leverage your past performance into an InMail strategy that will help you work smarter, not harder. To get started, place your cursor over Reports and then click InMail Analytics. In this report, you'll see data for your InMail activity. This data refreshes every few hours, so you'll always have accurate and current information. An important metric on this screen is response rate. Response rate is calculated by adding the number of accepted and declined messages together, and then dividing by the total number of messages that you've sent in a given time frame. While it includes messages that have been declined, Response rate is an immediate indicator of how well in-mail messages are being received because an action is still being taken from the recipient to respond. Here you can see a snapshot of how you're trending over time, and you can change the time range to monitor your in-mail strategies and see if you are on target. Click the Expand button to see more detail in this graph, and place your cursor over an individual day to see the activity on that day. In this section, you see the specific breakdown of your in-mail messages in the specified time period. How many you've sent, how many were accepted or declined by the recipient, and how many had no response. If you want to know where you stand on in-mail credit usage, Click the Credits button. You can see how many credits you have used, how many credits have been refunded, and when your credits are set to refresh. To learn more about the credit refund policy, click the link at the bottom of the window. Let's continue down the page where we can drill down into even more data. Here you can slice and dice the data, view your response rate among different types of candidates, and target candidates who are more likely to respond to you. Click the tabs to see your response rate among candidates from various companies, schools, or who have been in their current roles for a certain amount of time. These insights are helpful in letting you know if you are targeting the right recipients for the types of positions you're looking to fill. It's important to note that it is not necessary to have used these filters in your searches to see results here but you can use the data from this report to better inform your search strategy. For example, I have a high response rate with candidates from Marinetti Consulting and I can use that information in future searches. With these data, you can have more strategic conversations with your stakeholders and discuss any changes in your targeting. Another great source for data is the Spotlight tab. Spotlights allow you to focus in on the warm leads who are more likely to respond favorably to outreach from your company. And remember, you don't need to use spotlights in your searches for the data to appear in the report. For example, last month I had a high response rate from members who would show up in the Open to New Opportunities Spotlight. With that knowledge, in the future when I'm filling similar roles, I can search for similar candidates and increase my likelihood of receiving a response. I can also see trends for other spotlights to learn where to focus my efforts. The Templates tab gives you insights into which of your templates are performing the best. By comparing the level of message personalization to the audience you're targeting and reviewing templates and template usage, you can learn how to craft your message more effectively to target your audience. Under the Seats tab, you can see the overall response rate for each member of your team. If someone has an amazing response rate, reach out and find out what you can learn from their success. If you don't see other team members' data under the Seats tab, ask your recruiter admin to turn on this feature for you. If you are a manager, this is an excellent way to assess the performance of each team member. Another way to get more data out of your InMail Analytics report is to export it. To do that, scroll back up to the top of the page and next to the Print button, click Export. 
Then click Download to export a CSV file that you can use in your spreadsheet or database software to further explore and visualize your data. You're now ready to get started with InMail Analytics. The easy-to-read, self-serve reports, and regularly updated data give you crucial insights to better understand current performance and improve your response rate. You can then utilize those insights to have strategic conversations and influence hiring strategies with business partners.